there's the Big Dipper, there's Pisces, and there is Orion's belt. Why is it that the only constellation I can ever find is Party the Space Bear? Ben, stop working and admire the sky. I don't have time for that. I need to perfect my listener scope so I can make the science world forget all my recent embarrassments. What embarrassments? Buddy, your last few ideas were great. The half-body transporter, the food molder, the shadow that can fight you. Hmm, okay, yeah, maybe they were embarrassments. But that's about to change. Imagine a telescope for your ears. Oh, neat, I think. Is that neat? It better be. I can't stay in this slump. If this invention is another dud, I'm quitting science. <gasps> no. Come on, space. Bring the noise. Let's go. Show me something cool. Don't make me beg. Fine, I'm begging. Leave me alone with my failure. That's it. The end of my career. I am the worst inventor of all time. I don't want to look at any stars. Not after what they did to Ben. Hello! Can you hear me? I am contacting you from space. Outer space. Oh, ha, ha. I am the best inventor of all time. Ben, before you quit science, I want you to know that I believe you'll have a good invention again. You mean like the listener scope? No, they're all gonna laugh at you for that one, but you'll bounce back. Laugh, you say? <laughs> uh... Once they meet Alan, they'll be too busy praising my brilliance to laugh. And then I'll be the one who's laughing. Wait, who's Alan? Alan is the alien I befriended last night. I bring you greetings from the planet space. That thing works? That's incredible! And we can understand each other because Alan is using a universal translator. Bingo! Otherwise, all you would hear me saying is, you can't go watch it, <laughs> Just chatting with an alien. I should bet they will make a statue of me, you know. After all, this is the biggest scientific advancement since the wheel. I come from a planet where all wheels are square. I'm sorry I doubted you. This is amazing, Ben. I forgive you, Tom. If genius were easy, everyone would do it. Ah! Ginger! Put this alien deflector on! Because we're at Alien Invasion Alert 6. You're worried about Ben's alien? We just kicked it. He's cool. Oh, you think he's cool? Well, that changes nothing! Because he's obviously evil and trying to take over the world, like in every alien TV show and movie ever! <laughs> Ginger, Ben wouldn't let that happen. He's careful with his science. Was he careful that day he turned the toilet into a time portal? Hmm. You got a point there. I'm so glad I found you, Alan. This listener scope was my last chance for scientific redemption. Well, you did it, buddy. Everyone on my planet thinks you're great. Everyone? Wow, no one ever agrees on anything on this planet. That's why we could never make a planetary defense system. Really? That's, that's, no. We could never fight off an invasion. Why, I can list at least four ways to take over this planet. Good thing you're friendly. Uh, do you have any more tinfoil? Tom, on his planet, they wear glasses so they can see worse. It's incredible! Ben, we're worried your science is out of control. Don't be too hard on him. This could have happened to any of us. But you're putting the world in danger. So let's break this thing! I call for a smash! Stop! You don't know what you're talking about. With this listener scope, I can bring alien technology to Earth. Then all the scientists will have to respect me. And the world will be a better place, too. There you go. Ben has it all figured out. <laughs> Who wants a sandwich? Wait, what? Aww. Alien technology? Alan gave me plans for a machine. I don't know what it does, but he says it will be explosive. Explosive? Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing? Earth-shattering. No, don't shatter the Earth! 
Every genius deals with naysayers. Well, naysay away. But when the Science Statue Society puts up a statue of me, I'm not going to let any of you look at it. Don't you see? He's building a machine to bring in an alien invasion force. So what's our plan? Give him the benefit of the doubt? No, we have to stop him. A local scientist claims to have an invention that'll change the world. People are skeptical. This better be fast. Yes, this had better not be another classic Ben failure. Uh, um, welcome, great thinkers and simple-minded viewers at home. Today, you all witness the birth of a new era. Ben, what do you have to say to every scientist you respect and look up to? I say to them, hello, distinguished peers. It is good to be your equal. You are all about to see something from beyond the stars. <gasps> Mission Control here. Tom, are you in Ben's invention? You have to find its master brain. We're looking, and when we find that master brain, we're going to punch it in its stupid master face. And I got the alien costumes in case everything goes wrong and we have to blend in with them. Ginger, I don't see a master brain. Look harder! We are at Invasion Alert 7 here! Oh no, that's the first most maximum invasion alert there is. Behold, my interplanetary device. Maybe we'll hit something. I'm sorry, Tob. I can't do that. Huh? This was designed by an advanced alien mind so that our planet can join our friends amongst the stars. Behold! The device. Oh! For my statue, I'd like this pose. Or maybe a this pose. Or <laughs> some... Um, mm -hmm. that's a water slide. What? No, it isn't. Look at the way the tubes spiral in a fun but also safe corkscrew and end in a pit that's clearly designed to be filled with water. That's definitely a water slide. No, it can't be. Dude, there's a picture of a starfish wearing sunglasses on it. I, I thought that was a symbol from an alien language signifying a star. <laughs> 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 You know Ben's alien? I am Ben's alien. <gasps> He's a body swapper. I knew it. This is all a big misunderstanding, which is just another word for a lie. Tom, Hank, where are you? Hank here is about to explain. Right, Hank? Yeah, <laughs> funny story. Ben needed a science breakthrough, so I thought I could give him one by pretending to be an alien. I used all my knowledge of things aliens say on TV. Oh, it was working. But then Ben wanted alien technology, and I don't know that stuff, so I thought, well, who doesn't love a good water slide? And here we are. Looks like I really blew it, huh? Ah, oh, no fair! We never have a space war! Ben's making a fool of himself in front of all of the scientists he wanted to impress. Ugh, I wish Alan was here. He'd know just what to do. He's so smart. <gasps> That's it! Angela, bring me the suit. <laughs> <laughs> This could not have gone worse for pathetic local inventor Ben. He should quit science forever. of Earth. <gasps> I am the all-knowing alien, Alan. Oh, Alan, why did you trick me? Was this all some kind of terrible space prank? No, you built a water slide because the Earth needs more sliding. Earth needs more sliding, huh? <laughs> You totally didn't embarrass yourself today. This is my message of peace to you all. Slide, people of Earth. 
slide into your future! Obviously, that's the most ridiculous thing I have ever... You know, now that I look at it, this is the most mathematically fun slide I've ever seen. Uh, 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 exactly! <laughs> what he said. Ben, you've reached out to the stars and brought us amusement that is out of this world. You truly are a genius. Yay! Let's water party, everyone! Yeah! Yeah! You have a lot of explaining to do, Alan. Hey, you're the one who thought you could talk to aliens. Whoa, 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 whoa. Angela, I do not understand why you're still mad at me. Really, Tom? Well, let's run through what you did. First, you read my diary. Then you made things worse by snooping through my email and phone. And finally, you ruined Mystery Game Night by melting down in front of all of our friends! I was trying to surprise you with news that I'm doing a music video with the incredible Ricky DeLuna, but you turned my nice surprise into a disaster! Okay, that's all fair, but in my defense, how can you stay mad at a face like this, huh? <laughs> Hello there, <gasps> Angela. I'm looking forward to creating something beautiful with you. <laughs> Susanna, do not leave me. I beg of you. I beg on my knees in the pouring rain! Guys? Oh, come on! I need to show Angela how much she means to me. So, I got her... Drum roll, please. A gift basket! Forget her, man! TV says the best way to make a girl forgive you is to run to her in the rain. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Tom's right. Listen to the dating expert. This device magnifies the romantic feelings in whoever it's pointed at. If Angela's like levels for you are too low, this baby will put things right. <laughs> Hank? <gasps> gross! You guys are all gross! Whoa. Huh? See? Like Cupid's arrow. Just never set it to reverse, or it will wipe out any romantic feelings, leaving its target as emotionless as a broken robot. Huh. Trust me, what Angela needs is an apology and this sweet basket. Wow. Let's try it one more. Tom? Hey! That is a passionate dance. Yeah, all Ricky DeLuna dances are full of passion. The world needs passion. Oh, that's what dancing is all about. Uh, what? Wh uh, mm. You know what? You're right. I don't want to get in the way. I'm just here to give you this nice gift basket. What? It's distracting. I'm at work. You didn't do anything else, did you? Uh, no. No, obviously not. I mean, I would... He's sorry, so sorry, he, he hopes you won't stay mad. He admits the things he did were really very bad. Ugh. <sighs> Just go home, Tom. Ah, such a shame to cover one of my beautiful eyes for a costume. Hello, Ricky. Ah, we need to have a little chat. What can I do for you? Look, I get that you're all about passionate dancing. That's fine. But while you're doing it, don't let her forget what a good thing she has with me. Just be like, Ah, I am so impressed with your cool boyfriend. I cannot believe he gave you that basket, which was really something. I understand. To see Angela dancing with me must be difficult. I should help you. Yes, thanks, man. I knew you were cool. I said I should help you, but I will not, because I would rather steal Angela away from you. What? I don't think so, bud. All women fall for Ricky De Luna. Angela will be no different. No, you're wrong. Whoa! Huh? Ricky DeLuna to the dance floor. Angela wants to rehearse the super romantic part of the dance. Ah, the lady calls. Soon Angela will choose between us. And who will she pick? Tom, who hides in my costumes? Or Ricky, the irresistible dancer with a breath as fresh as a herd of roses? No, she'll pick me, Ricky. 
no matter how fantastic your breath is. Okay, we need this dance to be perfect. Action! really well. There is undeniable chemistry between us. Yeah, I agree. Sorry about my boyfriend, though. We're going through something. I I'm sure he'll leave us alone now. <laughs> ah! I can't believe you, Tom! You are ruining my video! Look, I know you told me to leave, but I have to warn you about Ricky. He wants to break us up. Oh, Tom, this is not a good look on you. You should get out of here. Oh, I will. But not until I prove that you're not so special, Delina. <laughs> Say you dance surrender. Never! <laughs> <laughs> you lose, Richard. What is wrong with you? Uh, you seem very angry. I mean, you sabotaged the biggest shot in my video. Have you gone nuts? No, no, I'm trying to warn you about him and get you to forgive me. Well, that backfired. I think we need to spend some time apart. <gasps> what? But I. I understand. I shouldn't have. <sighs> Goodbye, ex-boyfriend Tom. <laughs> wow. So you're telling me that Angela's gonna wind up with Ricky DeLuna? International superstar and pop idol? Uh, lucky her. I mean, that's terrible for you, but wow, Ricky DeLuna, quite a catch. I should have given her space. I feel horrible. Whew, yeah, breaking up is tough. No way to change that. Unless he used Ben's machine, I guess. <laughs> but that's <laughs> crazy. I could count a million things I like about you. The way you think, the cute things you do. Oh, Tom. You seem distracted by your dramatic breakup. I hope I can help you find some peace. I can't believe Tom did that. He's so infuriating. He does not understand you. Those who are not superstar entertainers cannot know our minds. You think I'm a superstar? You are going to be a very big deal, Angela. Along with your superstar boyfriend. Uh, my superstar boyfriend? Yes! You have ditched the zero, so now you can be with the hero. What? No! This is a professional dance relationship. Oh, Angela, don't play hard to get. Like I told Tomas, the women always fall for Ricky. Oh, you really said that to Tom? He was telling the truth. Who cares about him? He's gone! Now, give your new boyfriend a kiss. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I feel pain! Angela? Angela! No, Tom! Don't do it! And... Please stop! If you lose your emotions, the only things you'll care about are work and bills and stuff! Ginger, don't make it sound like a good thing. Oh, Tom! Angela's calling! She might have something important to say. Hey, Angela. Uh, Tom's a little busy now. He's wiping out all his emotions. What? No, don't let him. He was right. This was a big mistake. Um, could you come here, like, in the next two seconds? No! I'm on the other side of town. <gasps> That's bad. No! Okay, listen closely. Plug your phone into the TV. Hurry! All right. Hank!
Angela? I could count a million things I like about you. The way you think the cute things you do. <laughs> we've had our ups and we've had our downs. Our belly laughs and our sad face frowns. But in the So, you made the video without Ricky, huh? Yep, but the video I did make is more important to me. It's about something I care about. Us. Oh. Uh, -huh. uh, Angela, I am sorry about the increasingly unfortunate series of things that I did. <laughs> I know you are, Tom. I know. Nice catch! The name's Hank. Officer Hank. <gasps> Officer Hank, your ace security guard reporting for action. It's always been a dream of mine to be a hero cop. Easy, pal. You're not a cop. This is the nerd convention, if you know what I mean. I know that. So I guess my job is to make sure no one steals a comic book or kidnaps an extra from Space Conflicts 2. That's not gonna happen. Again, you're not a cop. Your job is to walk around here and do nothing. Oh. Wait a minute. There's one way you can make yourself useful. Oh, protect the innocent? Arrest a perp? Huh? Oh, clean up any messes, you see. Some of these nerds are real slobs. I don't need that in my club. Sure, that's a little bit heroic. Nah, it's not. But hey, at least you'll be fighting grime. <laughs> Aww. Ah! Pretty much what the name says. Isn't it? I've got to find the table where they're playing castles and latrines so I can defend my title of High Chancellor of Plumbing. That's what you think. I'm taking you down this year. Your reign of terror ends today, High Chancellor. <laughs> you could have gone literally anywhere else, Tom. I know Nerd Night seems lame, but trust me on this, all right? We're here for something cool. These are Plikimon cards. People all around the world collect them, trade them, and most importantly, sell them. We're here to find rare cards that are worth big bucks. Why would anybody pay for these? They don't even come with gum. It's hard to explain. Let me buy you a pack and you'll see. Okay, let's see. Hmm. The common mouse. Okay, that's not worth much, but it's a start. It may take a while to find something great, like a... a... super diamond awesome giant? Really? That's like one of the best cards. Oh, man. And a silver edition? Nice. Neat. There's two of them. Oh, you were right. I like this feeling. You know what? Let's get rich quick. <laughs> Hero Cop Hank. Are you loving this job? It's all you were talking about yesterday, and the day before, and every day since you found out about it. Uh, that was a different Hank. One who didn't know that a career in law enforcement can break your heart. One who still had dreams. Oh, buddy, what happened? Did you get framed for a crime that you didn't commit? Worse, there is no crime. The only thing for me to do here is clean up. Oh, this night stinks. Well, I mean, maybe it's not so bad. I mean, you can just... Oh! This pack is bursting with rare silver cards! Fortune has smiled upon me! 
Tom, someone's beating us to our riches. No, we'll talk later, Hank. Hang in there, buddy. The common mouse is the most useless character in the Pleaky Mod universe. <sighs> common mouse, I know how you feel. Huh? Ah, who keeps doing this? I believe I will play the tipped chamber pot. Hmm. Everyone, stagger back to wheelbarrows. Excuse me, sir. Hmm. I'm trying to keep this place clean. I can see that you have got wet paint on your hands. I'm going to have to ask you to go to the bathroom and... Whoop. Stop! In the name of security! Inside its resources! Hey, slow down! The bathroom is inside! Stop! Stop! Why'd you run away? I just wanted you to wash your hands. This is bigger than you think. It's everywhere. Look for the man with the can. Hey, hold on. What do you mean? I've said too much. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying, Mom. <laughs> be able to touch a latrine without King Ginger's potty pass. You haven't won yet. The bronze aqueduct is still mine. Hey, what do you know about the guy who ran away from this table? And who does he know that has a can? I, I do not have time for these riddles. I am busy fortifying my defenses. But he was covering up a secret. He gave me a mysterious clue. Seriously, I don't know the guy. Nah, King Ginger has grown weary of this distraction. Leave my presence at once. Constable! <laughs> Guys, something big is happening! Did you find more Pleaky Mon cards? Hey, man, if you did, don't you dare hold out on us, man, because we're on a Pleaky Roll for the ages! No, Tom, it's not about cards! Have you seen a man with a can? Uh, like a can of soda? I'll tell you what, if we find a man with a can... <gasps> more cards! <laughs> Tom, Angela, wait! All right, fine. I'll do this like a hero cop does it, without backup. Oh, it's just a bunch of art supplies. Wait. What's this? Hmm. Oh, it's been painted on. Could this mean that all the cards here at Nerd Night are fake? That's right. Ah! Every last one. <laughs> it's you! You're ripping off poor defenseless nerds! For years I watched these nerds buy and sell these stupid cars. <laughs> Never saw the point until I realized I could make a lot of money selling fakes. I didn't count on you getting in my way. I was doing my job. Ah, your job was to clean. But it doesn't matter, I've already won because I'm about to go sell this. Whoa! A super rare silverbacked edition Dark Matter Magisaur? Yeah, you know your bleaky man. I'll score thousands off of some stooge out there. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. Sure I will, because you're gonna be stuck in here forever. No! A limited edition hornless unicorn? I've never seen so many rare cards in one place. Uh, I guess I just have the gift. Yeah, you do. Mm. There's no time to panic. I can do this. I just have to find... Aha! The ultimate hero cop escape route! Hmm. How about this? I can see you guys are serious Pleakymon collectors. Huh? I Pleaky a bit myself. <laughs> it's not just a nerdy monster-based card collection game. It's a way of life. Oh, you don't need to tell me, sister. You ever see one of these? Huh? Wow! A super rare silver-backed edition Dark Matter Magisaur. It's the best card there is. I didn't even know they were real. Yeah, it's real, all right. And it could be yours. I mean for a price. 
Anything for that card. Wait, Tom, we have to be smart about this. I is it really worth it? Uh, are we getting too obsessed? Angela, think about how much our collection would be worth if we had this card. You are right. We'll pay anything for that card. No! Mm, don't do it! It's a fake! to clean up around here. Wait a second, what's going on here? The Magisaur isn't real? Hank! <laughs> That's right, this man is running a counterfeit Pokemon card ring. What? <gasps> Sir, I'm bringing you to justice. Oh yeah, you and what army? How about my army? Latrines, and I say no one messes with my subjects. Cease him! <laughs> I lost fair and square. So, if the cards were all fake, I don't really have a gift for finding rare Pokemon? This night is lame. You saved us, Hank. You turned out to be a hero cop after all. Tom, I appreciate that, but you're wrong. I'm not a hero cop. I'm a security <laughs> guard. going to be where we belong. Hobnobbing with the fancy people at the Change the Children Charity Gala. I don't know why I have to go. You're the mayor, not me. Well, this party is a huge opportunity to meet important people and show off our inventions. But what if I don't fit in? What if I eat wrong and then they throw little pickles at me? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Angela, you look like a French Christmas present. Thanks! I didn't have anything formal, so I just put bows on an old dress. I'm Mayor Tom, and I approve of those bows. Oh, just look at us. We have come so far. So, you guys got dressed up too? Yep. This baby is from back in the day when I was working as a bow tie model. Funny story. I went in thinking that they were looking for a glow tie model, but... Hank, I just don't know. You guys probably won't be comfortable brushing elbows with fancy people. Yes, we Look, not to be mean, but you guys are too immature and silly for a fancy party. You'll uh, embarrass us. You're immature and silly, Tom, and your butt will embarrass us! Mm -hmm. Why aren't they going? Can they take my spot? No, now keep this thing on. You look like a common garage person without it. Fancy parties really change people. <sighs> Looks like I wore my glow tie for nothing. <laughs> Wow, look at this place. Time to mingle with the fancy folk. I'm great at mingling. And I'm good at standing perfectly still and just hoping that nobody notices me. No, Ben, you're at this charity event for one reason. Now everyone go find a rich person to impress. You know, for the children. Oh, hey, do I look like I work here? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. Serving girl, huh? direct me to the cheese plate. <gasps> Autumn Summers. My old nemesis. It's a nectacular. I know what I said, Autumn Summers. You know what? We don't want to sell our scarves here. You'll never warm a neck again. All right, Angela, snap back into it. I am here to mingle, small talk, and not. No, but uh, you. Huh. 
Well, hello there. I'm Tom, Mayor Tom. I'm Rich. <laughs> yes, I can tell you are. No, Rich is my name. Rich guy. What? What are you doing? You've never seen a wishing shredder? Oh, I get it. It's like an expensive wishing well. Oh, first time using one. Oh, of course not. No, no, I, I completely fit in here. Are you impressed? Because you should be. <clears throat> uh, it seems I only have a one. Care to get more money to make a proper wish? No, 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 no. A uh, uh, onesie wish will have to do. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, remind me, uh, how exactly does this help the charity? If you have to ask, you probably don't belong at this party. Uh. <laughs> ah! Oh, Tom wants me to mingle, but how? All I know is facts. And it never helps anyone in any social situation. Oh, so many cheeses. <laughs> but which do I eat first? <laughs> <laughs> Look, looks like she could use some cheese facts, actually. No, oh, Ben, cheese facts are not for parties. Oh, I suppose I'll choose at random. <laughs> random? No, 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 no. Wait! The white cheese is the Geschmack Krieg, and the other is the Dag Skull. For the proper experience, you have to eat the Krieg after the Skull. What did you just say to me? Oh, boy. I shouldn't have spoken. I let myself out through the back so I don't cause a scene. You oh. are fantastic. Just as I suspect. What? What culture? What class? What is your name? Hansel? Christian? It's Ben. Ah, uh, short for Bentucious. Well, Bentucious, you must accompany me to the expensive room. Only the best people are allowed in there. Because it's expensive, you see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So cool! Going to that gala! I bet if we had a gala, it'd be way more fancy than theirs! I agree 102%. The 2% is extra fanciness. Everyone at our party would have five golden spaghetti. And hot dogs wrapped in silk buns. <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Fancy party! Yeah! Let's get fancy! Woohoo! Yeah! Wow, everything looks so expensive. Enjoy. This place is yours because you fit in. Helmut! <laughs> I thought you were at sea. Mm hmm. Ah, yes. Mm hmm. <gasps> CEO! I should have known this was too good to be true. What brings you here? Hoping to steal one of my inventions again? What, Ben? Please. This is a children's charity gala. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I don't know all the fancy rules yet. Still new to the fancy party scene, so... Hi. Wow. Ben, this event is neutral ground. In here, we're both just fancy people. I don't even want to know what your new inventions are. Well, that's a relief. Plus, I really only brought my de-raisiner. It turns raisins back into grapes. Interesting. Two foods that have nothing to do with each other. Uh, you, you do know a raisin is a grape that's been dried up in the sun, right? Um, uh, of course I do. Please, no more shop talk. Let's put our devices and inventions in the neutral ground security box so we won't be tempted to talk about them. What a great idea. <laughs> well, I'm starting to fit in here, just like Tom and Angela must be. Well, I like it. Oh. <laughs> 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 ah, yes! Ah, quite. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Finally, I meet someone at this party who knows how to listen. So I was saying. Oh. <laughs> I say, old bead, fresh coins for your buddy soup. Thanks, my dear fellow. I like my soup extra rich. Ha, 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 ha. You know, if this event were any exclusiver, you wouldn't be here. It would just be me, because I'm the fanciest. Don't be so certain. I own the Eiffel Tower, the fanciest monument, and my underwear is made of pure gold. Oh, yeah? Well, I have a ski cabin under the ocean, and my underwear is made of gold and diamonds. <laughs> This is an outrage! I challenge you to a duel, because even my fights are fancy. Name a time and a place! Very well! Soon and here! It is on! Well, 
I find that the facts often do aid in certain social situations, according to the Wilkinson mingling coefficient, it actually is beneficial 84% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Something to chew on. Speaking of chewing, where's that waitress who keeps saying she's not a waitress? I'm not a waitress! See what I'm dealing with? Yeah, I, I'm sorry you're having such a bad time. I, I'm fitting in really well with the rich people, but if it makes you happy, we can get Ben and go. Psst, ben, let's go. What are you talking about, Tom? This is going really well. I'm in my element. One of which is barium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Angela's not having the awesome time that both of us are, so maybe we should bounce. Uh, I don't want to leave. I'm meeting people I like. Maybe it'll be good for the company. The CEO and I even had a nice chat. I think we're buddies now. All right. Introducing the D-Raisiner. What? It's a big game changer and all my idea. Uh, uh-oh. This baby will end all your raisin-related troubles by turning them back into grapes, which did you know they used to be? But neutral ground. Hey, that's our invention. Oh, yeah? Then why did I just pull it out from my seat? CEO Inventions Box. <gasps> the neutral ground security box. Everything at this party is a lie. I'm so hurt that you would accuse me of stealing my own invention. I guess you'll have to choose. Do you believe me, the rich CEO, or the new not rich guy? <laughs> we, the rich, believe you, Carl. You're rich like us. Ventusius, you leave us no choice. Security! I got this, man. People, calm down! Now, as your mayor, I just want to say one thing. Ah, run! Ah, that's mine! That's my de -raiser. Come back! My idea, my invention! <laughs> no! Ah, I am a mechanical chicken! Ah. And it lays fancy omelets! Well, I have a golden Ooh. monster truck that has its own pancake Ooh. chef. It's a monster food <laughs> truck. Whoa. Hey, what is going on? Oh, uh, we're having a fancy party of our own without you. Yeah. Cool. Oh, hey, Tom. <laughs> How was your gala? It was amazing. It was awful. Uh. Awfully amazing. <laughs> Amazingly awful. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. It was horrible. Turns out fancy just means snobby. And the CEO tried to steal my d on uh, neutral ground. So, our party is better? <laughs> Way better. Can we, uh, join your party? Well, I guess. As long as you remember, <laughs> I am the fanciest. <laughs> Oi, how can that be when tis I who is the fanciest? As am I. <laughs> This can't be the end. She's too young to depart this world. Stay strong, Hank. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> I can't watch. <laughs> Will somebody answer that? Ben's phone. <gasps> Miss Vanthrax. Miss Vanthrax, no! Uh, Ben is very busy at the moment. Give me that! Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Benjamin. <laughs> oh, Velma, you sound awful. <laughs> I've come down with a cold. Uh. <laughs> now, the class needs to decide on a project for next week's science fair. And I was wondering if you were free. <laughs> it would be an honor. <laughs> Excellent. Now, it's not for amateurs, so no baking soda volcanoes. <laughs> Understood. I want that first place ribbon, Ben. I want it bad. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ben, you have to fix the fridge. Maybe later. I have a class to sub. Wait, don't leave her like this. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. skateboard in the hall. She's the one who decided to slip on it. <laughs> ben! Hmm. What are you doing here? I'm your substitute teacher. As you may have heard, Miss Vanthrax is homesick. Yeah! yeah! 
Okay, take your seats. Man, we just hit the jackpot. Bag's not a real teacher. He's just a guy. Ahem. Our goal is to come up with an idea for the science fair. I've printed information on some exciting fields to pique your interests. Microentomology! Xenopaleontology! Botanomineralogy! Are your interests piqued? Eh? <laughs> Ginger. Huh? Are you even listening to me? What did I just say? Um, there's a fair and... Interest? <laughs> <laughs> no, Ginger. The fair is extremely important. We need to come up with an idea. Let's just make a volcano. No volcanoes! Come on, cut the mean teacher act. It's me. Yeah, boy. <laughs> You just lost your class there, racist. <gasps> Wait, what? You can't do that. I just did. And if anyone has a problem with that, you can thank your boy. <laughs> Let's face it, Tom. We have to eat all the food before it spoils. OK, I think I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Why don't I call my neighbor Mike? He fixed my air conditioner when it broke over the summer. Oh. Mike, why didn't you call me to fix your air conditioner? <laughs> what? What's so funny? No offense, Tom. It's just, well, you're not really a handyman. Oh, yeah? Watch this. See? The coolant tank is almost empty. Yeah, that's a bagel spread. Wow. <laughs> and it is almost empty. <laughs> Miss Vanthrax, I'm gonna take this in the hall, and when I get back, I wanna hear some good ideas for our project. You're gonna pay for this. <laughs> oh no, they're behaving. I just had to show them who was boss. Excellent. That first place ribbon is as good as yours. Mm. Well, I hope so. I'm going back to sleep now. Don't screw up. I can make this right, I promise. Oh, yeah? How are you gonna do that? I've got a plan. All right, class, let's see what you've all come up with for the science. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. It was you or me. <laughs> Attack! You see, Angela? Good as new. Mm. Oh. I should have called Mike when we had the chance. What? Those little savages! How dare they disrespect an educator like this! Hey, uh, Ben, you have something on your face. What? And uh, most of your body. <laughs> Ms. Vanthrax is going to come back to a class that hasn't even started the science fair project. Oh, I'm a failure! A failure! Hmm. Ben. Sounds like you might need my help even more. You don't know these kids, Tom. They're monsters! Well, when it comes to dealing with monsters, you might say I'm pretty handy. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I guess we could try to fix this. Are you sure about this, Tom? Just follow my directions and say what I tell you. Oh, and be cool. <sighs> <laughs> Together, buddy, or you're gonna lose them. So, have I got your attention yet? You? Excellent. Now, what do you want to learn about today? No wrong answers. Um, math? Wrong! What do you really want? Um, video games? Great! Let's play video games! <laughs> Oh, my God.
Great job, Ben. Keep it up. The day is almost over. What? But we haven't even started the project! Huh? Right, right, okay. I should probably mention... Cool teachers don't get a lot <gasps> done. <gasps> never had a chance, Ginger. The aerodynamic forces on that thing are totally off balance. Whoa! Wait, science can make paper airplanes better? Whoa! Oh, that's way cool. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on here? Velma, you feeling better? I was, until you turned my classroom into a rumpus room. But, 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 but you I... should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs> Excuse me, Teacher Ben. I need to improve the arc of my plane's flight path. What can I do? Hmm, it looks like you're forgetting <gasps> one of the four major forces that act on a plane. Remember? And be after all these years. Oh! I'll increase my wingspan to get more lift. Children so eager to learn. Excellent work, Benjamin. Excellent. <laughs> well, guys, it seems like Ben did what? Look, 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 look. How'd you do that? <laughs> Easy peasy, icy creepsy. Huh. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. <laughs> 